Hi, I'm Brian, and you're watching Eerie Extreme. I'm up early. It's 5 o'clock. I'm waiting on Uncle T to get here. We are doing something very different today. Thanks, Mom. Something that I've never done before. Two things I've never done before. Something Terry's never done before. And we're bringing back a guest that we had on. I think he's bringing a buddy too. And they have no idea what we're doing. So that makes three of us. Weather's gonna be terrible. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> we're just hoping we can pull this off. That's what's coming up on Erie Extreme. I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. So I've gathered up a few old friends, <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds, doing things we've never done before, going places we've never gone before. Oh, yeah. What is that? Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. Oh, this is Eerie, oh, Eerie Extreme. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, Nate. Hey, Dave. This challenge was submitted by Bev from Lawrence Park, PA. Bev challenges you to catch a fish species that you've never caught yet on the show. But wait, as always, there's a little more to it than that. You must catch this fish on a bait that you've never used before, not since you were born on September 29th, 1970 at Hammond Hospital. Oh, you were so cute. What? Mom? Sounds like a good one. Good luck, should you choose to accept this challenge. Mom. Terry's finally here. He's a half hour late, as usual. Let's go see what the excuse is this time. It should be fun. Why are you late? You look like an alien. I couldn't wake my dog up. What are you doing? I gotta bring my dog with me. What is that, a pit bull? No, it's a fox from there. Dude, it's gonna bite me. It's not gonna bite you. Come here, you know what, it sense fear. Uh, yeah, so do I. Oh my gosh, you gotta be joking. He's the sweetest thing. This is Isabella's new boyfriend. No, I can't. You're bringing a dog. You know it's supposed to rain all day. It's raining now down there. I think he has to wear the cone of shame. So I think we should keep oh, this Oh, I wedding. think you ought to wear it. No, I think you should wear it. Look at you. You're pretty. Hey, we gotta hurry. We can't screw around. Because we're you're late. Can he ride in the truck with us? You're gonna put your dog in my... No, you, got, you can put him in the back, right? Yeah, I got a kennel for him. This is nuts. Can he ride in the cab with us? No, 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 uh -uh, no dogs. Come on, buddy. Oh, great. Check it out. He had a tumor removed. That's a good boy. Oh, what a good puppy. Look at how cute he looks. Huh? Yeah. Until it bites your face it's off. It's not gonna bite your face off. Relax. I'm actually not late. Dave is usually late. My dog didn't want to wake up this morning. He, uh, he's on medication that makes him sleep a little more. So uh, it was a little tough getting him going, but now we're all set. Your life is in my hands. Man, I feel bad strapping you in here like that. It's a dog's life, I guess. It's supposed to start raining until tomorrow. Good thing they're always right. So it's early, Terry's late, weather's bad, um, but at least we're on the road. You have a wallet? Yeah. You have gas? Uh, yeah, full tank. Take a picture of that. I've never seen a full tank of gas. Ann must have borrowed my truck. We are late. We're picking Maddie up in 20 minutes in Union City. So, Terry forgot the camera. Who's the cameraman? The camera. Oh, yeah. Who's the cameraman? We're both cameramen. You really I'm don't have the, the camera. cameraman. You, you, <laughs> I'm not you, the you camera. are messing with me. It's really, it's in your driveway still? The cannon is on a tripod in my driveway. <laughs> and we are in Union City. Terry's definitely the cameraman. Definitely Terry's fault. We're picking up Maddie. We're supposed to be there at 6.30. It's 6.36, so we're late. Also because of Terry. <laughs> I can't believe you left the camera in the truck. At least we got the dog. It's gonna waste... An hour and a half. More than that, yeah. An hour and a half. There's no way I could call Ann. She'll kill me. Okay, so I promised Ann she could sleep in today. So there is no way I'm calling her. Well, I have to call her to get it in because it's gonna rain on it. I'm 
wanna walk the dog real quick here. <laughs> Okay, so you guys will probably remember Matt. He was on an episode in season two. I caught my first bass of the year with you. You know that, right? Wait, are you serious? Yes. I'm finally getting a chance to pay him back. Doesn't that deserve some kind of a something? Good job. <laughs> awesome. Guess what we did? We forgot the camera at home. And his buddy Zach, well, he's gonna help Terry run the cameras today. Lord knows Terry could use the help. <laughs> I like how I can't he says, believe I you like left how he the says camera. Me. I didn't, the set, I didn't set the camera up. See ya. What do you think we're doing today? We'll go fishing. Wrong. Wrong. Do we have a buzzer? Yeah. Perch? Nope. Trout? Nope. Bass? Nope. This show is all about doing things that I've never done before. And this is just another one of those things. You know what a Helgramite is? Helgramite? Yeah. Huh? Well, you're gonna catch them because they bite. <laughs> I don't want to touch one. Hello. Are you? I, obviously, you're still sleeping. Well, yeah. All right, go back to bed. We forgot something. I didn't know if you were up yet or not. What would you have possibly forgotten? <laughs> you're not gonna believe it. The camera. The Shut up. It's, in, it's on a tripod in the driveway, <laughs> turned on, aimed out at the lake. <laughs> we're, we're morons. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, do you want me to start driving towards you? She's the greatest. That's the, that, yeah, you, 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 she's unbelievable. How does the camera come off the tripod? Was it on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I left you a message. You guys are morons. Please support our season three partners. Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, Fishing Online, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. It's been an interesting day already and it's just getting off the ground. We uh, drove an hour, forgot the camera. Do we have the camera? The camera. I had to wake my wife up. Uh, do you want me to start driving towards you? Uh, it's just been a real mess. So now we're going to uh, meet her halfway. She's bringing us the camera. What a day already. I said I want to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> I know. It's how we roll. It's how we roll. We're rolling. Showtime. Heading back to Union City. Take two. We have a challenge today from my mom for us to catch a fish that we've never caught on the show before. The catch is that we have to catch whatever that fish is using a bait that I've never used before. So I called Kirk from East End Angler just to kind of get an idea of some of the baits that he has in the store, but I've already caught fish on those. So I called Darl and he mentioned Helgramites. So I have never even seen one in real life before. I've seen little fake plastic ones at Walmart. We have to catch a Helgramite because no stores sell them. That's the bummer part, which will be extremely lucky because they're kind of rare. Okay, it's really raining now, so. So how do you get this? What the that? Helgramite? Almost to Oil City, we got about six minutes. It's 59 degrees. Yeah, because the ramp just right up Besides being the cameraman, Terry is also the chief navigator, uh, which is why we're lost. You guys like rain? Rain? Yeah. Uh. You're gonna get soaked. Call Darl Black. You touch your credit doesn't have a bathroom. You gotta be joking. I'm not joking. We had to stop here so Terry could go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah. We're supposed to meet Darl in Oil City, but we can't find him. 
Jake? We're just on the Oil City, like the main part of Oil City, right across the bridges by that fountain by the country fair. Turn left, you have to turn left and go straight and we will lead you there on from there. Okie dokie, okay. see you in a minute. Oil City is actually a really cool place. We've uh, gone there a couple times filming shows. I've been there fishing a few times and always look forward to coming here. Finally get to the parking lot and meet Daryl and yep, it's raining, of course. 100% Thursday night, 100% chance no rain on Saturday. This is Zach and Maddie. Maddie's famous. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen you on TV. We've never seen a Helgramite. You know, when you go to pick up a snapping turtle, they tell you to grab it by the tail? Yeah. Okay? Don't do it with these. That's a, is that a huge one? Wow. No, that's, that's a medium-sized adult. They get bigger. They get bigger? Feel the body. feels like leather. Don't let them go. Okay, you don't want to grab them by the tail. Then they can wow, swing around and pinch crazy. you. that's crazy. And he tries to get on you, too. Now, let him grab your finger so you know I what it feels like. I saw that. He'll... Yeah. See the grip, fill the gripper on there? Oh my gosh. But this is where you have to hold them I by that collar right there. I can't believe how big they are. I thought they were inch Yeah, well long. they get big, no, they get bigger. When I was old enough to walk, I used to go with my dad when he had collect Helgramites in the Shenango River. So Helgramites are the larva of a Dobson fly. And they spend, they, they're, they're, they are aquatic, you know, they spend their larva life in, in the water and it's anywhere from three to five years before they hatch, they come out and hatch into a Dobson fly. What they do, they get down under these rocks like this, they get into fast water, can't be still water, they only, only survive in the fast flowing water. If it's rock on rock, you're not gonna find them. You find them in the gravel, under the big rocks and in the gravel like by the rocks. So, so we dig and then? We scrape, we don't dig, we, we scrape. scrape. Is, that, is this Helgram right term, terminology? Grab it by the top handles and lean back a little bit. It's gotta be, slanted into the water. Okay. There you go, like that. Yep, there you go. This is not even close to what I was expecting. Isn't yep. that one? Yeah, that's one. Yep. Check yep. it out. There's one. By, behind the pincher head on that hard shelf. Well, careful. You got him? And that's a Helgramite. I think I saw one go in. I think there's one in there. Okay, let's lift up and see. Nope, it's a leaf. Yeah, it is one. Where? Oh, yeah. You're going to get him, Maddie? Nice. Man, that is crazy. Hold him like a big bass. Grab him by the mouth. Ooh, he tried to get you. Pretty cool. Are you digging down pretty hard? Trying to overturn the surface rocks and dig in the gravel a little bit. <laughs> OK, I feel good about it. You, yep. you should. Oh, you, my gosh. You got two biggies. So that means I'm a better scraper than you? Yeah, that just means you're a better scraper than me. Look at the size of that thing. No, 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 you got him right behind the head. Look, watch. No, no, you're too far back. You got to come down right on that hard shell right there, and if he starts backing up on you. How bad do they bite? They don't bite, they pinch. If you get him back in this body, he can twist that right around and get you. Get him on the hard shell. Well, I think we got enough Helgramites to go catch a fish. Okay, so we got the Helgramites. Now what are we doing? We got to go catch a fish on one. Got to go catch it. Well, this, you want to catch a fish, yeah, we're going to go catch a fish. So Darrell knows everything about Helgramites. So I got a few questions. How many legs does a Helgramite have? Uh, six. True or false, a Helgramite turns into a huge fly with a seven inch wingspan. True. Helgramite larvae can live up to five years. True. All Helgramites are of the same sex. Not that I'm aware of. False. Uh, a Helber a Helgramite's brain is bigger than a monkey's brain. <laughs> Let's let the dog out again. Day so far? Pretty good, pretty good. You gonna get bit by a Helgramite? Okay, I might. Okay, we've got the Helgramites and now we're headed to the second spot, the place where we're gonna catch some fish. I hope. We're gonna head in the wilds of uh, Oil Creek State Park. Okay, I'm following You got food you. and water for two days in case you get lost? <laughs> no. Snake bite kit? No, but we got algramites and I know you can eat them because they got <laughs> meat inside somewhere. So here we go. It would be a shame to catch 
the Helger mites and not catch a fish. Just saying. We've got nine Helger mites in the bucket. That should be enough. We need to catch a trout, not just smallmouth. Might be worth us just trying, trying to cast right there. We finally see the creek, and Darl says, let's just try it right here. Run the hook up, up through the bottom of the hard shell and up through the top, just like that. Don't spook yeah. the trout. Remember, it's, you're not bass fishing. <laughs> what are the chances? I got one. Boom. Got a bite right off the bat. There you go. It's a small mouth. <laughs> Man, I wonder if we need to go anywhere. Do you, what do you guys think? Should we deal with it right here and try to catch a trout? I don't know, the chances of getting a trout here are less than up above. Look at this fish, his mouth. Look at that. I'm sitting here having a time of my Crazy, isn't it? So now that we kind of know what we're doing, uh, we're going to a place where Darl thinks we can catch a trout. This is the only way to get up there? Well, without going through the tick field, yeah. The best way to get up to the hole I want to fish is by wading the stream. We're walking right up through the middle of the creek rocks everywhere. It's not easy, and it's a long way. Oh, I hate not having the right shoes. Darl, you sure there's not a shorter way? See where the falls is on the opposite side there, the dam? That's where we're going. Okay, let's call this home base right here. 20 minutes later, we get up to the spot to fish. We got to keep an eye on the time. So this challenge didn't come with a time limit. <laughs> but unfortunately, Maddie did. Maddie wants to get bit. Home by two o'clock. This is disgusting. Ah. Strict orders from dad. Man, we need footage of somebody getting latched onto. Circle hooks are hard to put in Helder mites. Is that good? Well, yeah, if they stay on, but. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> Ooh, who's the expert? Ah. Didn't it break, like? didn't break the skin. Uh, the pinch of a Helger mite feels like being stuck with two needles. He's gonna fish right there, and I'm gonna fish over here. He's got one, he's got one. Everything in the creek eats Helger mites. Pull him up, Maddie. Take your time. Pull him up, not down. Um, but we're fishing for trout. Oh yeah. That's not a trout, that's a bass. I got a fish. He got me on snap. What oh, is that? Nice big bass. Small mouth. Big small mouth. <laughs> I love bass, but we need a trout. Man, I was snagged and he got me off. My sinker was snagged. Yeah, that's a big one. Nice one. Yeah. Look at that. Who's is bigger? I think mine's a little tiny bit bigger than yours. All right, show Darl. Look, we've, we've gone back in time. <laughs> the Oil Creek Railroad of 1800 something. This is awesome. I don't care if we catch a trout or not, to be honest. See how fishermen are? He was way Way down there, just a yellow blur. I catch a big one. Now, now look at me, I gotta move. I gotta go to a new spot. I gotta find somewhere else to fish. Yeah, I gotta find, you go ahead, you can have it. I need space. Got one. Got one. Come on, be a trout, be a trout. Be a trout. I can't tell what it is yet. Don't throw my helga mite. Nope, yep, another small mouth. No, small mouth. Uh oh, something different. Something different. This one feels different. It's not a bass. It's not a smallie. Could it be? Bluegill. We caught bluegill on the show before. This is awesome. I mean, we're catching a bunch, just not the right species. So technically we failed the challenge, and in case you missed it, this one was presented by my mom. So I really wanted to win, but we had a blast catching a bunch of fish, and we got to catch some Helger mites. Had fun catching all these small mouths. Oh look, there's a perfectly cut trail straight to the truck. Hey, Darl, don't forget there's a trail right here. It's been 
close to 10 years since I've been here. And at that time, there was no trail going through the woods to the ice dam. <laughs> Thank you. I've never had so much fun failing a challenge. Just an overall great experience today. <laughs> See you. Thank you very much. Sure. You're not going to die. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? OK, so Maddie has volunteered to take the bite. <gasps> How'd it feel? It did not hurt. That was good. All right, it's a wrap. Very good.